The alarm is placed high in a tree by hooking the device on a branch using a telescoping pole. Multiple alarms are set in series, creating an uninterrupted perimeter. A tripwire runs from the alarm and is strategically set at knee height. When tripped, the alarm uses a friction igniter to set off a loud report. That charge ignites a smoke device for visibility during daytime and a bright red flare for visibility at night. These signaling devices pinpoint the exact location of where the perimeter has been breached on a large property, expediting the appropriate response from the setter. And here's how I made it. These are incredible perimeter alarms. To see how to make them, look there. But finish this video first. This is a catch for molten slag that drips from the flare. Most flares will drip molten slag. It sucks. There's one brand that does not. It is. I forgot the name.
super duper fuse primer. This is one to one potassium chlorate to antimony trisulfide, 200 mesh Chinese needle. It's the cheaper one, 12 bucks a pound. And I titrated its burn speed with magnesium carbonate. So I'm not quite sure of the percentage. What I did is I just kept incrementally adding magnesium carbonate um, and then remixing it until I, I got a desired burn rate. Well, until I got a great burn rate. So here's what this burns like. So it burns easy, but it burns super hot, white hot. I love antimony trisulfide. So that fuse primer we take and mix with nitrocellulose lacquer. Anything you mix with nitrocellulose lacquer, when it dries, it will be waterproof. Nitrocellulose lacquer works as a waterproofing agent. Uh, glue is a very versatile solvent and it's used all the time in pyrotechnics. So this antimony trisulfide, because it's mit or this, sorry, antimony, this primer blend because it is mixed with nitrocellulose lacquer, it will be waterproof, this primer, when it dries. Now, this blast is going to ignite this ignition cap here. And normally, the black, the force from the blast would tear apart a, a fuse um, and it may still however there's a reasonable probability that the fuse will still ignite with the flare going you know what I mean it, it just adds a little redundancy and so we'll let that dry and then here's this one. Oh, interesting yeah capillary action here from the dye it's a solvent dye hence it's solubility so colored smoke devices are not as much smoke devices as they are dispersal units I mean any low temperature smoke device is basically a dispersal unit alright so we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna hit it with we're going to cover it with tape where it needs to be covered and then we're going to camouflage this. So these are covered in tape just to protect it. The fuse can be painted because it's already been treated with nitrocellulose and the uh, core of the fuse is what really controls its burn. Mm -hmm. 